Hi everyone, this is Will Nate 35 and we're going to do an unboxing on this Park Zone Sport Cub. This is the bind and fly version, so all you need to do is basically have a transmitter and bind to it and you should be ready to rock. I believe this one has a battery already and a charger, so it's a really great kit and for the price that we were, I was able to get it for, um, to me it was a little unbelievable. Uh, the, pr the sale that uh, Horizon Hobby was having was just really too good to, to not buy this uh, plane. So uh, I think overall everything together, uh, free shipping, all that stuff, it was less than $130 for this plane. So for that money uh, I just couldn't say no so I went ahead and got it. So why don't we go ahead and look inside and see what's in it. Alright, so here is what's inside the box. Everything seems to be really well packed. Uh, there's the fuse. And uh, all the little gizmos. Here's the charger. Uh, can't see what this is yet until I open it. I believe the tires are probably going to be in here. Here's the battery. So again, with the battery and a charger. Uh, for a hundred less than 130 bucks you you can't even say no to this so anyhow there's the wing so uh, let me go ahead and start taking it out and see how everything looks all right so here are all the things that came out of that box uh, at least most of these not everything but so here's the tires the tundra tires they're it's very hard um, like a hard foam very light it's a very hard foam uh, tire. I've got some other tires that I like to use here. I've got some, uh, some of these rubber ones. I can give that a shot and see how that works. But anyhow, those are the stock Tundra tires that came with it. Here is the charger. So you can use that in your car. And here's the battery. That is a 3S 11.1 .1 volt. This thing would focus. Uh, anyhow, it's a 1300 milliamp. Um, doesn't say the C rating. I don't see it. Oh, 20 C. Sorry, 20 C. So, focus. I almost had it. Anyhow, there it is. 20 C. Okay, so there's the battery. Here is the fuselage. Very nice. Stickers seem to be uh, seem to be pretty good. Not peeling off or anything. Um, there's that. Let's look inside. Uh, now this comes with that AS3X AR635A, which some people may not like. Uh, I've never really had any issues with it, um, but some people don't like it, and they decide to get the uh, pug, pug and play version, which actually costs more than the the bind and flight version which is really weird but anyhow so that's that here is one of the wings very nice now I am going to put flaps on this all you had to do was buy a uh, a uh, servo so I went to my local hobby store and got that there is another part of the wing this is part that joins it in the middle and I believe those are the things for the uh, landing gear so some some parts miscellaneous parts there uh, there is the rudder nothing to write home about I think that's uh, I think it's uh, a pretty decent rudder there's a lot of mods out there that I've been seeing on video and may want to try some uh, particularly with the landing gear so here is the uh, the metal wire for the landing gear. This seems to be the biggest issue with with this plane, with it bending back and what have you. So you need to strengthen it. And here are the struts for the wings and uh, things like that. Uh, I forgot what they call this. That that rod for the uh, for the wing to keep it nice and sturdy. So that's pretty much it. That's what you get in this box. And uh, 
I can't wait to put it together. My whole thought was that uh, I wanted to use it uh, for the winter. You know, put some skis on it, or maybe even get the uh, pontoons and use that to uh, to fly during the winter time. And uh, you know, with the AS3X, it should be really easy. Just having some good times, having fun out there in the field. And uh, that's really why I wanted to buy this plane. So. That's all she has here. Uh, I look forward to building it and uh, having some fun with it. So, uh, Will Nate 35 signing off. Have a great day, everybody.